Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise video, guys. And today we're going to be going over the top five franchises to use in Madden 24. Before we get into the video, make sure to head down below and check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Poodle to match your first deposit up to 100 bucks. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and like. Let's get into it. Coming in number five, we have the Cincinnati Bengals, guys. And my criteria for the best teams to use are going to be the best teams to use, right? But it's not that simple. Uh, it comes down to a few key factors. For instance, some people are always like, oh, Mahomes the cover, Chiefs, best team to use, et cetera, et cetera. That's not the case. There's other key factors. A quarterback does not make or break the team. What I've realized in Madden 23, at least, is that you just need a quarterback with abilities and some decent stats. It really comes down to the edge protectors, the edge rushers, abilities that become so key. There's certain positions you literally need to compete. So for Madden 23, you quite literally needed an edge threat or edge threat elite guy to compete. Without it, you really weren't competing competing especially once people learn to play the game without edge protector to stop the edge start elites you weren't really competing there either so keep that in mind when i make this list so Bengals coming number five why are they five joe burrow is solid he is not the most physically gifted quarterback in the game out of all the top tier quarterbacks he's probably the least physically gifted in terms of speed and throw power but with ability still gets the job done jamar chase is one of the best wide receivers in the game which is one of the reasons him and t higgins are one of the reasons this team is as high as they are in my opinion that's a great offense like him Mixon, higgins and chase and burrow that's just an insane offense you, you you have your entire offense set for pretty much the entire franchise it's like a four-headed monster right there i would not put too much thought into offense maybe trade Mixon at some point rebuild that running back position now where i really start to get a little iffy on this team is gonna be on the defensive side of the ball as you can see this entire thing dj reader is not a defensive make or break guy trey hendrickson is good but not great uh, he's 87 overall. I got to see what they give him. If they give him superstar, they give him star dev. If he's superstar, the team's a lot better, but he is older. So still, their best cornerback should be a woozy to start. On the defensive side of the ball, they're going to need a good amount of work. You're going to need an edge threat guy. Whether or not Hendrickson could be that guy, he's not going to be that guy forever. You're going to need a new edge rusher in terms of linebackers. Like, you got them, but you're going to probably need a new linebacker at some point. You have Jermaine Pratt. He's a 78 overall. He's getting older. You're probably going to need a linebacker. In terms of safeties, they've lost Jesse Bates, but they still have Daxton Hill, which is one of the best, if not the best, safety in the game once built. So don't don't worry too much about that. you got the safety in place. You have a rookie cornerback, DJ Turner, who's going to be 99 speed, 99 excel. That is crazy good. So you have some key pieces on defense, which keep them on this list. They will be able to be built, but for competing day one, the defense is going to be the, the bane of this team. Like It's going to be the back, like the, the Achilles heel, I should say. You want to have a little bit of an issue there, but otherwise, I think are a great team to use. You'll build them. They're fun to play with. Coming in at number four is another AFC North team. Now, again, AFC North is going to be a scary division. Keep that in mind. This doesn't even include the Browns and the Steelers, who can very well be crazy good in Madden. Browns already like almost there. Uh, Ravens, for a few reasons. The biggest thing is going to be Lamar Jackson for me, and you're asking why over maybe some of the other quarterbacks you're going to end up seeing on this list at some point. This is a mobile running quarterback year. I am not going to be endorsing quarterbacks with like lower than 82 speed. And on the flip side, I'm going to heavily be endorsing people with above like 90 speed. Lamar Jackson is the fastest quarterback in the game. With mobile with mobility being back, 87 speed and below can't really run around. Or like 85 and below can't really run around ends. 87 speed with the right angle can run around ends. 96 speed with any angle is going to be able to run around people. Uh, Lamar Jackson is going to be different. He's going to be able to single-handedly carry you with the running. Plus, he's one of the best throwers in the game for Madden-wise. He's a 93 throw power. He's, gonna, he's crazy. He can carry a franchise alone. Mark Andrews, although older, is the second best franchise in Madden, uh, second best tight end in Madden statistically. I think Pitts is better, obviously. There's still Kelsey, but overall wise, Andrews is crazy good. Marlon Humphrey, one of the best corners in the game. Roquan Smith, one of the best linebackers in the game. Justin Tucker, the best kicker in the game, or at least close to it at this point. I'm not sure if he's on the decline compared to the other ones. Ronnie Stanley, one of the best tackles in the game. Marks Williams, solid. A lot of these pieces will have to be uh, removed and rebuilt at some point after, after like year five, four-ish. But this is the best teams to use, not the best teams to build. Odell Beckham Jr., clearly on the decline uh, in Madden, but he's going to be a great wide receiver, two, three. If you move on down, you got Kyle Hamilton, one of the best corner, one of the best safeties in the game because he's like six foot three, six foot four. He'll get to 90 speed. Really great. Another, and that's that's the other thing too. These teams, these best teams to use also include buildable pieces. And that's important too. I don't like dead end teams. Uh, Patrick Queen, only 80 overall, getting older in terms of rebuilding. But he's useful. Tyler Linderbaum, great piece as well at center. You still got Rashawn Bateman. Rashawn Bateman, you still got J.K. Dobbins. 
And another key piece moving on down is going to be Zay Flowers, their rookie, 93 speed. He'll get up to 95, 96 speed when built. Super twitchy. Going to be a great rookie wide receiver. You're going to have your one option for Lamar all of franchise. Always still a super athletic outside linebacker. This team's great. I don't really want to go much more into it. The Ravens are going to be one of the best teams in franchise. I'm not the biggest fan of some of their pieces, but ratings wise, they're great. You know what I mean? Like, I think Humphrey, you got to get off sooner rather than later. I think um, Stanley, you're going to have to get off sooner rather than later. But day one, first three seasons, that team's going to be hard to beat. Coming in at number three is going to be the San Francisco 49ers. Now, the only thing keeping them from being number one is their quarterback. They have Trey Lance at quarterback that is going to hurt them. It is he's still buildable. He's still one of the best quarterbacks to build in franchise, but you have to get him built, which means season one, while you can easily compete with this roster, you're going to be held back until about until about season two or three, late season two, early season three-ish, if you can if you can build a Trey Lance a superstar dev at that point. But Nick Bosa arguably like top three edge in the game overall wise like one of the best like the best but 79 speeds a bit lower but both one of the best edges in the game trent williams one of the best edge protectors in the game so right off the rope you have a 99 on both sides right there christian mccaffrey one of the best backs in the game and he lasts quite a while still at his age fred warner probably the best middle linebacker in the game definitely george kittle a top four tight end in the game debo samuel a top wide receiver in the game he's only 89 overall you can get that back up quickly he's super good with the ball in his hands that's another thing that's interesting is when he catches he's not just like one of those wide receivers that go down you know he has stiff arm they give him truck they give him agility they give him juke so depending on how madden is with the sticks this year going to be a super useful wide receiver he's still got brandon Ayuk. Dre greenlaw got a pretty big boost you got Hufungo got a huge boost, 86 overall at strong safety, super young still, going to be a great piece, definitely going to get to 99 rather easily. They got Hargrave from the Eagles. There's just so much to this team. They got their rookies. This team is great. It has everything you need. I said, like I said, quarterbacks want to be the only thing where it's like, you're going to have to put some effort there, but that team's going to be built very simply. Point number two is the Los Angeles Chargers, a team that I don't like to really use in Madden, but wow, they are stacked for so many reasons. People, what they usually complain about is the athleticism of some of these guys. But with abilities are king in this game, they get the job done. Derwin James, always the best safety off rip on Madden. His his his, 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 like his intelligence, I don't know what it is. He's always in the right place. His play recognition, his jumping, his speed, always a pick leader. Derwin James is a beast getting up there in age, but again, it's best teams to use. Joey Bosa, one of the best edge rushers still in the game. Slightly faster than his brother by a point, but definitely not as good. Austin Eckler is a great receiving back. Now, this is the thing for using season one. Austin Eckler usually gets like a backfield master, backfield mismatch type thing. So he's super great out of the backfield. He can still run the ball, of course, but if you're a heavy passer, you're competitive, you want to use him on routes, he's great at that, which is always great for a competitive user. Keenan Allen is slower, but he usually gets the route tech type stuff off rip or short in elite, short out elite, mid in elite, mid out elite, etc. When you get into a new game of Madden, like you just start Madden 24 for the first time, what's the new, what's the trend every year in franchise? You don't know what the good plays are yet. You don't know what the good routes are yet. You don't know how the game plays at the short years, at the deep years, at the running year. Keenan Allen is one of those guys that season one or two is always so useful because he can just light it up in the short game. He gets open consistently. He keeps you comfortable. He's a great safety blanket. As the years progress, he gets super old. He falls apart. Everyone starts getting like high speed wide receivers. But in the meantime, Always right for season one, too. Mike Williams is a jump ball beast, can box people out. Justin Herbert's one of the best quarterback builds in the game 86 speed, 96 throw power. Going to end up being 99, 99 throw power and probably 87 to 88 speed. Can't go wrong with Justin Herbert, and he has a great release. I'm pretty sure. Pretty fast thrower. Khalil Max falling off here a little bit, but not bad to have as an option outside of Joey Bosa. You got Slater, you got Asante Samuel Jr. That's the thing, too. You have some other pieces. Like Jun Asante Samuel Jr. is a great cornerback piece to build. Um, JC Jackson's not really a piece at this point i don't know he's falling off an overall and he's older you got a few other guys here but the point is that team can compete day one and you got quinton johnston rookie wide receiver mike, mike williams build so that's kind of cool because when mike williams starts to fall off here you just build johnson you build johnston and you just move him into the mike williams spot and your team's good to go on offense pretty much the whole franchise Coming in at number one, we have the Philadelphia Eagles, and it's not even close. Usually in these top five lists, all teams could pretty much jump each other based on preferences and ideals and what you think about certain players. Philadelphia Eagles are by far and away the best team in the game. 98 overall right tackle. That is probably the best right tackle in the game. He's older, but he's going to be great for you the first few seasons. Darius Slay at 92 overall. Older, going to be a great shutdown corner to start. Jason Kelsey's incredibly old, but great center to start. AJ Brown. Franchise wide receiver, great with the ball in his hand, similar to Debo. Love AJ Brown. Hassan Reddick, super fast. Edge rusher, probably has abilities now. Dallas Goddard, great safety blanket head end. 90 overall with only one upgrade point. 
on the older side in terms of a long-term franchise, but great for day one. Jalen Hurts, gonna get 90 speed at some point by the time he's 99 overall. Just throw power super low, probably caps at an 87 if you're lucky, an 88. But he's gonna be great in the run game. Gonna be great if you play like the Eagles, he's going to be great. Not the best quarterback in the game, but he gets abilities. Going to get his, I'm not sure if he's superstar X Factor. I look like he was superstar, that could still change by launch day, but he's great. Now he, here's where the here's where the here's where it starts, right? So those guys are good, but they're older. AJ Brown, Devonta Smith, Jalen Hurts, offense is set for franchise. Bradbury is useful. Jordan Mailata, the offensive line's insane. Now you might be thinking these guys must be expensive. Luckily for you, Kelsey and those guys. And this is why this team's the best, right? It's not just they can compete today. They can compete for 10 years. As these older guys phase out, there's other people to come in. Money's going to start opening up. DeAndre Swift, that running back, is solid for the meantime. Avante Maddox is a solid corner, but here's where it gets interesting. Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis, 280 speed and above defensive tackles. Jordan Davis, I believe, is a second year or third year, forget. Jalen Carter is a rookie, one of the best rookies of the class, actually. So you have your D tackle spots set for the entirety of franchise, which is something you usually don't have. Next, you have Greedy Williams. He's a bit older. He's only probably going to be normal dev, but he's got 93 speed. He has the excel. He's got the build. He's got the frame. He's going to be definitely super useful to have in that secondary, at least in the early goings. Now, Nolan Smith Jr., this guy is like Micah Parsons, but way better. Like, this guy could easily be the best pass rusher in Madden for years if he gets off to a good start in his real rookie year. Because as he gets older, if he doesn't start good in Madden, he's not going to be great. But for his rookie year in Madden, if you can get this guy up to a 90 overall edge start elite type guy, he's going to have like 95, 96 speed, 97, 98 excel. It's going to be like a Lawrence Taylor build. It's going to be absolutely insane. He's a finesse rusher. This D line's incredible. Carter, Davis, Nolan Smith. And you have a sound Reddick. That that front seven is absolutely insane. I'm pretty sure Fletcher Cox is somewhere here too already. We definitely passed him. And last but not least, uh, Kelly Ringo, Kelly Ringo. I don't know how to say his name, but 94 speed, 95 excel, and I believe he's like six foot two. Goes to one of the best corners in the game if you can successfully build him. He's well rounded. He's physical. Uh, Nicobe Dean. He's a second year. He's an 89 speed linebacker. Linebackers kind of suck in general, but for a buildable piece, he's going to be above 90 speed, 94 excel. This team is just absolutely ridiculous. One of the best teams in Madden. It's not even close, like I told you guys. But uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Please comment down below what your number one overall team to use in franchise. Let me know if someone on this list you didn't see that you thought should have been on there. I'd love to see if it's someone that you would think even like is number one when I didn't even have it in the top five. Be interesting. And make sure to provide your arguments too. I'd like to I'd like to go at you with that one in the comments. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It goes a long way. And of course, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out. Peace.